Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lily and today we will be doing an unboxing and first impression of the Frey Lepage Daily Battle Tote in the size 37 as well as its matching pochette. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching, subscribe, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. All right, so for today's item, I am really, really excited. I actually just received it today and I wanted to share it with you all. I actually have not heard of it until I stumbled across Isabel Styles' YouTube channel and came across her review of the Frey Lepage Daily Tote Bag. I have been eyeing the Neverfull for the longest time, but then I was thinking, you know, are there other options out there? She did, she did a really nice review on sort of all the alternatives to the Neverfull, and this was actually one of them. So after watching her video, I actually went on Google and did some research and, you know, really, really loved sort of the history of this brand. If you're not very familiar with this brand, it was actually established in 1717. So that precedes Louis Vuitton in the 1800s, as well as Goyard in the late 1700s. So if we think about it, it has such an incredible history to it. Um, and when I read about it, I actually learned that this is a French manufacturer and they originally created firearms and artillery. And so of course they made the respective bags to carry these firearms. So when I read about that, uh, I was even more so compelled to purchase the bag because to me that meant quality, durability, um, all of which I really would need in a tote, especially one that you're going to invest quite a bit of money in. Um, so that's a little bit of history about them. We're gonna do the unboxing and then I'll show you the motif on the canvas and then talk a little details about that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so it is actually still in its original box scene. It came with a really nice plastic um, cover, which I just cut off and uh, I didn't open this because I wanted to share with you all. So just a regular cardboard box. If you notice over here, it has the uh, uh, emblem and sort of, oh wow, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Looking at all of this right now, it actually says, bonjour Lily. Are you ready to fall in love? Your aim is perfect. Quick, draw your weapon of seduction and let the conquest begin. Ooh, I'm excited. Sounds like an adventure we're going into. <laughs> um, oops. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get this open. I'm just gonna get a pair of scissors here and slice it up. It's really nice. I like how they have customized this. I don't have any uh, items from Ferrari Lepage, so I am very excited to see how the quality is, what it looks like. Um, and hopefully, we'll be able to shed some insight for you all as well. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, you open the box and it says, Arme pour sejour. Armor of seduction, I suppose. I'm sorry, I don't speak French, so if I'm butchering this, I am really sorry. Um, and then it says here, Frey Lepage, Paris, 1717. And look at the, oh, this is very pretty. I, I, I love presentation, so um, pardon me here. And so when you open it, you see that their theme color is yellow. Uh, so it's just a ribbon here with a tissue paper. And you see on their tissue paper, it's pretty interesting. They have the Frey Lepage pattern on there. I don't know if you can see, it's very tiny, but it's just basically speckled all over. Really nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this right now. This is what it looks like after I open up the tissue paper. Okay. All right, so let's put that down. And, oh. Oh, there's a nice booklet in here, or maybe it's another receipt, I'm not sure. So it comes in this beautiful um, sort of orangey yellow gold tone. Uh, and it's just their, their bag here. So what do we have here? Okay, so we have a receipt here. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about pricing as well. And we have, all right, so this is what they give you. They give you this little card that tells you a little bit about the details. So nice. So here they also included, choose luck, not fate on your first date. Do not delay, find the deal, four leaf clover. Okay, interesting. <laughs> it's getting cute. Okay, it says, Paris 1717, you are now armed for seduction. Yours faithfully, Arthur. That is pretty neat. So this is handwritten and I guess they, they put so, they put a lot into the presentation of the item. I mean, it makes you feel really special. <laughs> really nice. Um, and this is just a map in the shape of a helmet armor of the, I presume, 
location um, of this boutique in Paris. So really nice. And they had this QR code that is in the shape of the armor helmet. Isn't that, isn't that creative? I love it. I really love it. This is really nice and comes with this little booklet here that says illustrated history. So I guess this is just to tell you a little bit about the, um, the brand. Oh, that is amazing. It really is. So it's this booklet and I will definitely read this and it's all illustrated and um, really nice. Wow. I am, I am really impressed. I'm so excited. I think their presentation is incredible. It's really, really amazing. All right, so the first item I have here, oh, on top, okay. So remember I mentioned that there's also a little pochette. So let's start it with the pochette first. So it comes with this dust bag, pretty straightforward, has the logo, has the emblem of the brand. I open it, oh my gosh. Wow, I am so excited hmm. okay so this is the pochette all right so just looking here real quick to let you know how much this is while we're going through this this is the pochette zip in the size 29 this is 510 dollars us dollars i'm going to be talking everything in usd um and there are four sizes to it so this is actually the second uh from the smallest size so there's a 19 29 33 and 37. Sorry, I'm just looking here. So I'm giving you guys all the right uh, information here. And as you can see, it's actually fairly large. Uh, you could fit so much in here. Like I said, I've never had the Neverfull, so I don't know how large the Neverfull um, pochette is, the one that comes with it. Uh, but I will. I chose the 29 just because from what I read, what I've seen, all the reviews, they were saying this wasn't good enough. So there's a little D-ring here, and, and I'll show you later to attach it to the actual toe. And on this side, it's just the zip pull. So if we open it, oh, it's like butter. Wow. Okay, so we open it, we got some tissue paper in here. Let's take this out. And, oh, so it, it has this little um, wristlet. So you attach this to, um, I guess you could attach it to this end here and make it like a little nice wristlet. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and just attach it here to this little D-ring like that. And to secure it, actually, how do you even secure this? <laughs> so I figured out how to put the wristlet on the pochette. Basically, you just open up this little tab and then you slip the leather part through and then you just close it through the little hardware here. Originally, I was looking at it and I was like, gosh, this is so tough. I thought it was not, um, it couldn't be opened. So I didn't want to ruin it, but uh, I think you were just supposed to open it. So silly me, but that is essentially how you get the uh, little leather tab on. And then you could of course clip it like this and then you have your nice little wristlet. Um, I think what you can also do is you could clip this here onto this little zipper hook here and have like that and potentially kind of use this as a shoulder bag, right? I mean, maybe not the most ideal, but you could if you really wanted to. Of course, if you did open it, then you know, you got the issue here where it would slide to the very end, but just a thought there. So here it is, the pochette in size 29. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the tote. I am so excited about the tote. Also in the similar dust bag here. Uh, and let's go ahead and open it. Oh, wow. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my goodness. Wow, I love it. I love it, I love it. <laughs> I mean, just so weird. I feel more excited about this than, I don't know, this is gonna sound really bad. I feel more excited about this than the Chanel 19. I don't know why, but I, like I mentioned earlier, I was gonna talk a little bit about the motif here that we see on uh, the canvas. So first off, a little um, backstory about this. So this is supposed to be reminiscent of armor and ornament, oftentimes also as mermaids and dragon scales. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? So I, I just love the history um, behind this brand from what I read, like I mentioned earlier, 
and I think this is just so nice. So notice that, again, this is the steel um, color with the black leather, and I actually did have a little customized, as you probably already noticed. So for the bags here, the Daily Battle Toads, you do have the option to decide if you want a, le a yellow border trim, and I did want that because I, I wanted a little bit of brightness to pop against the black here, and I just think that looks really nice. There's like some funk, some cork against sort of that solid background here. So you can also probably see that the brand is here. It says for a lapage and essentially the same on the back. So this tote bag, again, in the size 37, it was um, 1200 USD. And then this item, uh, I did have it customized. As you can see, there's this little ribbon here. It's a leather ribbon. This is $170. The initial is $50. You can have up to three initials. I only had one, of course. If you add more, it's $50 each. I was thinking, well, first, I don't want to spend that much on, you know, an initial metal. Uh, but also, if you have too many, it may scratch as well. So I just got one um, for my name. And so after you add all of that together, it's $1,420. So if you just wanted the bag itself, it would be only $1,200, but uh, including the bag, including everything here, including the pochette, which was $510, and then you add on taxes and duties. So the taxes and duties, um, I will say, of course, depends on where you live. For taxes, I am in California, so whatever that rate is, and for the duties, actually, it was a total of $198. So for taxes and duties, it was a total of $198. And there was like a flat shipping rate to the US of $40. So altogether, we're looking at about $2,168 for both of, for all of these items. Now, this tote, uh, my, my goal, my purpose to get this tote is to use it as a work bag. Um, when we do go back into the office, I don't have a nice tote. Um, I have had the long shop, which I love too, but I've used it to death and it's no longer um, <laughs> in my collection, unfortunately. So I was looking for a replacement tote and this is definitely one of the nicer totes that uh, I am really excited to um, and look forward to using. So let's go through this bag right now. So as you have probably already noticed, uh, there's a buckle here to adjust uh, the length of the strap. So currently this bag, most people do use it as a shoulder bag, but if you wanted to, you could actually adjust it so that the strap hangs lower. So you could use it as a handbag. So you see how there's so many little notches here. You could adjust it shorter on both sides and then just carry it as a shoulder bag. So it's certainly very, very versatile. I personally will not be carrying it as a handbag because I prefer shoulder bags. Uh, so I will be using it as a shoulder bag. If you look here, you notice the hardware. Sorry, if I can just focus everything in line here. Um, the hardware is like this um, kind of light gold. If you look on this, you see that the leather obviously is on the straps here and this little ribbon. Um, and you also have leather on the edges here, reinforcing them. So that black leather is on all the sides. And I kind of like this. I know that Neverfull doesn't have leather on the edges. It's all canvas. So I think I am hoping that the leather is able to protect the edges a little better. But of course, we will see wear and tear with time. Whoops. <laughs> and how this goes. Uh, but certainly a really, really light bag. And it's just, it's really nice. And that's what you're looking for, right? If you're going to be using a bag to carry all your uh, laptop, all your work items, your agenda, notebooks, battery chargers, phone chargers, all that good stuff. You want a bag that's gonna be light and doesn't add to the weight already. So if we open it, there's just this big black hole, as you could probably see. There's unfortunately no zipper to this. They do have another version that does have a zipper. I believe though it only comes in 32 size, which is smaller than this and perhaps another size, but don't quote me. Um, I will put the link to, again, the bag and the tote. Um, in the description box below so you can go check out their website um, for other items if you're interested um but yeah so unfortunately there is no zipper here so i'm actually contemplating about getting a uh, bag organizer to put in here perhaps potentially with the zip so anyways notice that there is this really big bag pocket so kind of similar to the neverfull how you know the neverfull has a big um 
pocket in the back. This is all leather. It's not fabric. The inside is um, sort of like a canvas felt material, whereas this entire pocket, this portion, the front portion, is leather. So it has its emblem. It's beautiful armor emblem, and it says Arme por sedure. And again, I think it is armor for or of seduction, <laughs> but again, not sure. Um, and then it has its brand here, and then Paris 1717. So there's one big pocket here. I'm sorry, I know it's kind of hard to see. And then there's another pocket in the back. So, oh, actually, you know what? I was just jesting. There's no pocket in the back. It's just one big pocket here. And then this just is an opening that, you know, it feeds into the bottom of the bag. So that's it for for this bag itself. Um, the reason I decided to go with Frey Lepage is that I just think that I really want a bag that isn't ubiquitous, like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I mean, I think the Neverfull is beautiful. It's really um, ideal. Uh, it's definitely a work bag. It's, it's a great bag, but everyone has it. So I wanted something that you honestly do not see everyone wearing. Um, and this is certainly one of the bags. This brand obviously has a much richer history. Um, however, it doesn't have as much recognition amongst its peers. So I'm really excited to start to wear this um, and see how the wear and tear goes with this bag. There were some reviews on YouTube regarding this bag, but definitely not as much as the Neverfull, right? Um, or any of the other um, more well-known uh, designer tote bags. So I am really excited to use this and see how it goes, see how the wear and tear goes, and then report back to you all. Um, I think that the way it looks is just beautiful. It does kind of remind me of the Goyard, right? Um, and again, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. So real quick here, just to show you what it looks like on me. Again, I am 5'4", um, and this is the this is the 37. So definitely big, right? Um, but if you want it as a work bag, um, I think this is really ideal. All right, so I will uh, most likely do a uh, review of this item as I use it a little bit longer, let you know how it goes. Um, but pretty much this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it as always. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have one of these bags, how you're liking it, uh, how the wear and tear is going for you, what color you have. I definitely see myself gravitating towards this brand just from the first impression today. We will see, of course, after I use it for a little bit, how well it does. Um, but if all goes well, I may try to pick up a couple more items from them. Um, but for now, this is all today. Hope you're all enjoying a nice morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching as always. Subscribe and like if you can. That would help me a ton and I would appreciate it so much. Thank you again. Have a nice one and see you next time. Bye-bye.